Hey guys, welcome back to Clear Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. So we have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to rewrite this 10 as 9 plus 1. So we have 2 to the power of 10 minus 2 to the power of 9. And this is equal to 2 to the power of 9 plus 1 minus 2 to the power of 9. Now, an important property of exponents is that if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So the base simply distributes with the exponents. So this is, I'm going to use this property for 2 to the power of 9 plus 1. We can think of 2 as a, 9 as m, and 1 as n. So this would equal to 2 to the power of m, which is 9, times 2 to the power of n, which is 1. And now we are subtracting this with 2 to the power of 9. And now this is equal to, now I'm going to factor out 2 to the power of 9 from this. So if I factor out 2 to the power of 9, I get 2 to the power of 9 times, now 2 to the power of 9 divided by 2 to the power of 9 is 1. And then I have, or sorry, 2 to the power of 9 times 2 to the power of 1 divided by 2 to the power of 9 is simply just 2 to the power of 1 minus 2 to the power of 9 divided by 2 to the power of 9 is 1. And now this is equal to 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 is simply 1. So I have 2 to the power of 9 times 1, which is equal to anything times 1 is itself, so 2 to the power of 9. Now for 2 to the power of 9, this is equal to 2 to the power of 4 times 2 to the power of 5 because, remember, a to the power of m plus n, or sorry, yeah, a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So now, 2 to the power of 4 is 16, 2 to the power of 5 is 32, so we have 16 times 32, we have... 32 times 16, 2 times 6 is 12, we carry the 1, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 1 is 19, then we add our 0, 1 times 2 is 2, 3 times 1 is 3, 2 plus 0 is 2, 9 plus 2 is 11, we carry the 1, 3 plus 1 plus 1 is 5. So our final answer is 512. Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. And we want to find the value of m. So now for our solution here, We're going to start with our equation, 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. And now 3 to the power of m, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. Minus now 2 to the power of m, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. And 2 over 2, that's the same thing as 1. So it's the same thing as 3 to the power of m to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3 to the power of m. Same thing for 2 to the power of m. 2, to the, 2 over 2 is 1, so this is the same thing as 2 to the power of m to the power of 1, which is the same thing as simply just 2 to the power of m. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. 
So 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2, this would equal 3 to the power of m times 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Now, m times 2 over 2, that is equal to 2m over 2. So I have this minus 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Now, this is the same thing with 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. I have 2 to the power of 2m over 2, or this is actually m times 2 over 2. And then now, 3 to the power of 2m over 2 minus 2m times 2 over 2, which is 2m over 2 is equal to 65. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And m and n here, these two are interchangeable, meaning m times n, this can also equal a to the power of n times m, because for multiplication, order doesn't matter. So meaning, if these two are the same, that means that this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, right? Meaning a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So right here, I have m times 2 over 2. So we could actually rewrite this as 3 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 65. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the variable x equal 3 to the power of m over 2. And I'm also going to let the variable y equal 2 to the power of m over 2. Okay, so now that we have that, now if I substitute in x for 3 to the power of m over 2 and y for 2 to the power of m over 2, I get x squared minus y squared is equal to 65. Now if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is actually equal to a plus b times a minus b. And this is actually a very important property of algebra. So for x squared minus y squared, this is obviously equal to x plus y times x minus y, which is equal to 65. Now 65 This is equal to 13 times 5, right? So now, because we have x plus y times x minus y is equal to 13 times 5, we can think of x plus y as 13 and x minus y as 5. So this is essentially 13 times 5 is equal to 13 times 5. Meaning we could say that x plus y here, this is equal to 13. And we can also say that x minus y, this is equal to 5. So now here we have a system of equations. As you can see, we have two equations. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. And we want to find the values of both x and y. So to do this, we are going to add both of these equations. So if I add these equations, first off, x plus x, that's 2x. y minus y, these two cancel out, so I get plus 0 is equal to 13 plus 5 is 18. So this means 2x is equal to 18. And now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x 
is equal to 9. So now if x equals 9, I have to plug x into the system of equations to solve for y. So our original system of equations was x plus y is equal to 13 and x minus y is equal to 5. So if x is equal to 9, then I'm going to start by plugging in x for 9 into our first equation, x plus 9 equals 13. So if I do that, I get 9 plus y is equal to 13. And now I can simply subtract 9 on both sides to get y is equal to 4, because 13 minus 9 is 4. Now for x minus y is equal to 5, I'm going to plug in both values and check. So now I have x, which is 9, plus y, which is 4, or sorry, minus, this should be minus, minus 4 is equal to 5, and 9 minus 4 is indeed 5, so I get 5 equals 5, so the values of x and y are true. So now, remember how we set x equal to 3 to the power of m over 2, and we set y equals 2 to the power of m over 2. So now x, remember this is equal to 9, and y is equal to 5. Or sorry, sorry, y is equal to 4. So now I have 9 is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. And 9 here, this is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2, meaning 2 is equal to m over 2, and m is equal to 4. Now let's check with the other one. We have 4 is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. 4 is 2 squared, so I 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2, meaning 2 is equal to m over 2, and 4 is equal to m once again. So the value of m here is 4.